Hello rail fans, and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today we're going to be doing another freight locomotive here, and we're going to be building this CSX GP38-2 locomotive in an early yellow nose paint scheme. Now I have done a locomotive like this a long time ago, but I wanted to update it since we now have bamboo stairs and slabs. So let's get right into it. So as usual, we're going to start off with the rear coupler. So take out a dark oak stair, and we'll attach that up here on the middle, under a sideways dark oak bed skate. Then on the next block forward, on the bottom middle, we're going to put three blue concrete, and then an upside down warped stair facing outward on either side. Above it, a row of five blue concrete. Then come in front of this, and we'll do a three block tall T-shape of blue concrete in the center. Put a torch on either side of the second layer. On the outer edge, three bamboo slabs like this, three on this side. In front of this, do a five by three of blue concrete coming out to each side of our tracks here. Then we'll swing around back here and we're gonna open a fence gate on either side of the coupler. And then up here, three upside down warp stairs, a mangrove fence gate in the middle and a zombie head on either side. Then we'll come in front of it. In front of this, on the bottom, we're gonna put a warped fence gate on each rail. And then right in front of those, we're gonna put another wheel on each rail. Put a warped top slab in the middle. Then in front of this, go five wide of upside down warped stairs facing forward. And then in front of this, five wide of warped stairs right side up facing forward. Then turn around and do five backward facing stairs. Then in front of this, we'll have to put a temporary block down and use that to put five warp stairs backwards and upside down. Then in front of this, we're going to put another right wheel on each rail, a warp slab in the middle, and a warp fence gate on each wheel. Then we'll add two fence gates on the middle of the truck on either side. Then go through and put a hopper on all four, neither right wheels. Then we'll crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. And then we'll also repeat on this side and put one on each hopper over here. Then we'll come up top with blue concrete and we're gonna do a line right down this top middle and we're gonna come out one block past these front fence gates so it sticks out. Then a full row of warp fence gates on the side here and a full row on this side here. Then on the middle of this truck, we're gonna put four warp trap doors here and four here. Then we'll crouch and put a single warp slab on top of all four of these hoppers. Then we're gonna come out here and put a wither skeleton skull above each wheel. And same thing on this side. Then we'll do our fuel tank. So we're gonna come one block in front of where this sticks out on bottom. And we're gonna go three wide right here with blue concrete and we're gonna make that a total of 11 blocks long. So a three by 11 of blue concrete. Then on the side of it here, a full row of upside down warp stairs facing outward. And same thing on this side, a full row of upside down stairs over here. Then on the top middle of this field tank, we're gonna fill the whole top three wide with blue concrete and bring it to the front on the top middle. Then we'll do the front truck. So in front of this on bottom, put a fence gate on each rail. In front of that, another right wheel on each rail and a warp top slab in the middle. Then five wide of upside down warp stairs facing forward. Then five wide of right side up warp stairs facing forward. Turn around and five backward facing right side up stairs. Then in front of this, put a temporary block and we need to get five upside down warp stairs facing backwards right here. Then in front of this, another right wheel on each rail, a slab in the middle, and a fence gate on each wheel. Then two fence gates on both sides on the middle of the truck. Then four warp trap doors here, four on this side, and then go through and put a hopper on all four netherite wheels here. Then we will crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on each hopper and repeat on the other side. Then we'll come up top with blue concrete. 
and we'll do a line right down the middle till we're aligned with these front fence gates. Up here are all fence gates on the side here, except right in this corner we're going to add one blue concrete and put a bell on it. On this other side, we're just going to do a full row of warp fence gates here. Then come up here and crouch and put a single warp slab on top of all four of these hoppers. Then we'll come out here and put a wither skeleton skull above each wheel. And same thing on this side. Then right here we're going to crouch and put a sideways lightning rod here and here. And then same thing on this side. And we need to repeat for the back truck. So come back here, crouch, and put a sideways lightning rod here and here. And one here, and then one here. And then we'll come all the way up to the front end here. In front of this on bottom, do a 5x3 of blue concrete coming out to each side of the tracks. Then a three black tall T-shape in the middle and a torch on either side of the second layer. On the outer edge, three bamboo slabs like this on each side. Then on the bottom middle, three blue concrete in the center and an upside down warp stair facing outward on each side. And then five blue concrete across here and three upside down warp stairs on the top middle. Take out a dark oak stair for the front coupler, turn around, stack it up to this middle second block here. Under it, we're going to put a sideways dark oak fence gate. Then open a fence gate on either side of the coupler. Up here, a mangrove fence gate and a zombie head on either side. Next, we'll come down to the back of this fuel tank. And on the back stair here, put a string coming off the bottom. And same thing on this side. Then come up on the front of this wheel tank on the second block in, put a skeleton skull here and here. Then behind it on each side a mangrove button and a mangrove sign here. Then behind that a warp fence gate. Repeat on this side, so a mangrove button here, mangrove sign here, then a warped fence gate here. Then do a line of sideways hand bills across here till you're sticking out over this string. And same thing on this side, come back with hand bills till you're over this string. Then we're going to come up on one end on this third layer. And we'll start at one end and we're going to go three wide on the top middle with blue concrete. And we're just going to go ahead and bring that all the way across the top to the other end. Then on this top outer edge, start in one corner and do a full line of bamboo top slabs all the way across the top and up to the front. Then repeat on this side, start in one corner and another full line of bamboo top slabs end to end on this side as well. And now the underframe's done and we're gonna come back up to the front of the locomotive here. So come up here on the third block in, do three yellow concrete in a pattern like this. On the next layer of blue concrete in the middle and then three yellow on top. Put three yellow stained glass panes on each front corner. Come behind it on this side, do two columns of three light gray concrete here, then two in the middle like this, two on this side, a brewing stand here, light gray concrete here, two on top. Three blue concrete on the top middle, then right here, two blue stained glass panes like this. Then cover the whole top of this with blue carpet like this. Then right here, we're going to put two light gray shulker boxes and another four coming back. Then here, start here and do five light gray concrete. Then we'll do one on the back, then two lapis lazuli blocks, a warp door, and a frontward facing door in front of it. Here, two black stained glass panes, and on the back of it, we actually need a blue concrete right here. Then four warp stairs facing outward on top. Then we'll do the other side. On this side, we're gonna start right here, and we're going to do a line of eight light gray shulker boxes. Then we're going to crouch and start right here and put a line of five light gray concrete here. Then one on the front, two lapis, a sideways door, and a backward door. Two stained glass panes here, a blue concrete here, and on top, four warp stairs facing outward. Fill in between the stairs of the whole cab roof with blue concrete. Then one on this front middle. Put a blue stained glass pane on either side of this block up here. 
then we need to make some banners. So we're gonna come into a loom, light gray banner, blue dye, and just make the top half blue. Then do a black banner in blue dye, put a blue border on it, and then make the bottom half light gray. Then this one with the black is for cab window, so we're gonna put one on the back right here, and then swing around here and put one on the front right here. Then this other banner, we're gonna crouch and we're gonna put it over this side door and then a light gray banner under it and that hides the door from the side view. Then we'll repeat on this side, so put this blue and gray one over this side door and a light gray one under it and that hides this door as well. Then take a light gray banner and put two of them over this yellow concrete on the side of the nose here and then two right here. Then on this side right here, put a white stained glass pane for a mirror. Then behind the cab on this side, put two stone brick walls. Then right here, a column of four light gray concrete, and then four right here. Then we'll do three blue concrete across this top middle. Behind this, one block in from the outer edge on each side, do three columns of four light gray concrete. Up here, do a three by three of deep slate tile walls. Then behind this, one block in from the outer edge again, two columns of four light gray concrete on each side, and two rows of three blue concrete on top, then two rows of three trap doors up here. On top of these walls, we're gonna put a three by three of warped slabs. Then we're gonna swing over on this side, on the bottom. Start down here behind the cab and do a row of warped slabs, and we're gonna stop above this first back wheel. Then right here, under this vent, do a 3x3 three three of light gray stained glass panes on this side only. Then we'll move down to the rear end. Back here on the third block and in the middle, do three yellow concrete like this, two tall. On the third layer of blue concrete in the middle, and two layers of yellow above it so it's five blocks tall. Fill in the top, and put five yellow stained glass panes on either side like this. Then we're going to come in front of this, one block in from the outer edge here. And we're going to fill this all in four blocks tall with our light gray concrete. And we're going to bring it forward all the way up the side till it meets up on the front end here. Then we're going to repeat on this side, one block in from the outer edge here. And just fill this whole side in as well, all four blocks tall with our light gray concrete. Just bring this down to the back. Then on top of the back in the center, we're going to do a line of seven bedrock blocks on the middle here. Then on the side of it, three iron bars, blue concrete, three iron bars. Repeat on this side the exact same way. Then take warp slabs. Right here, we're going to do a plus shape. And then right here, put a dead horn coral fan in the center of each. Then in front of this, fill this whole top middle across here three wide in blue concrete. Then on the side of this, one block forward from the iron bars, an upside down stone brick stair facing backward on either side. Then three outward facing deep slate tile stairs on each side, upside down. Then an outward facing stone brick and a forward facing. Same thing here, so outward facing, forward facing. Then align with these deep slate tile stairs in the middle, make a plus shape of warped slabs. Change this middle block to bedrock, put a dead horn coral pan. Then change this block and this block to decorated pots. Then we're going to come on top of the cab here. Right here in the middle, open a warp fence gate, a sideways one behind it. A warp trap door here, a blue candle here, and cover the rest of the roof, all with blue carpet. Then come behind here and we'll cover all this with blue carpet, right out to the sides, anywhere we haven't built something. Get around this fan and this exhaust back here and then get down and in between and around these back fans. And then a T-shape on the back here. Then drop down here and do a roll of blue carpet across this walkway. A T-shape on the back porch. Then start here and a full roll of blue carpet up this side. Then we'll crouch and get one on this shulker box. Come up here. Get two on these shulker boxes. Then two here. A T-shape on the front, two here, and one on this shulker box. Then we're gonna do all our railings, so take a bamboo fence on the front here. Right here, do a column of four. Then here, we're gonna come up three, over one, up two right here. 
and repeat on this side. So here four, here up three, over one, up two. Then two birch fences here, two here, and a chain across the gap. Then we'll put a birch fence right here, then up one, back two. Then on this side, we're gonna put a birch fence here, up one, back one, up one, back one. Then we'll move to the rear end with bamboo fence. Right here, we're gonna do a column of four. Here we'll come up three, over one, up two. Repeat on this side, so here come up four. Here up three, over one, up two. Then two birch fences here, two here, a chain across the gap. Then take your birch fence right here, connect it up on this top, and start bringing it forward up this walkway. When we get here, we're gonna come up one, forward one, up one, forward one. So it looks like that. Then do the other side, so come to the back of this side, connect it up right here and bring it straight across. Then we're gonna stop in front of these stone brick walls here and put one on top of the end here. Next, come up front, put a glow item frame out of either of these fences with a frog light. Then we'll come up here, a glow item frame with a frog light on the top middle. And then out of the side of it, we're gonna do a birch sign with our number, which is 2503. Same thing on this side. Hit both of these with a glowing sack. Then we'll detail the rear end, so come back here. Back here, we'll put a glow item frame with a frog light on the middle here and then one on either of these fences with a frog light. On either side of this light, we're gonna put a bamboo sign with 2503. Then we're gonna hit both of these, both with blue dye and a glowing set. Then put a bamboo fence gate up here and two of them under here. Then we'll do our lettering. So we're gonna come on the side right here and we're gonna knock out this three block tall T shape and put in lapis lazuli. Then skip one, knock out this shape, and then this one here and put in lapis. Then skip one and we're gonna do this three by three X shape and fill that with lapis. Now we do it on the other side. So come over here. On this side, we're gonna start right under this first iron bar Knock out this C shape, fill it with lapis. Skip one, knock out this shape, and then this one, and put it in lapis. Skip one, knock out an X shape, and fill this with lapis. Now we'll do the interior, so come on inside the cab here, and we'll put some frog lights down here for hidden lighting. Then at the same level of the door, fill this whole floor in with polished andesite slabs. In the back middle, put two blast furnaces, then a stair here and here for seats, and then on this front middle, a netherite with two levers for the control stand. And now our interior is done and we can come outside again. So there we have it folks, we've completed our CSX GP38-2 in an early yellow nose paint scheme. I hope everyone enjoyed the build here. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like comment and subscribe and everyone have a great week stay safe out there rail fans